Today, discover how you can uncover mysteries concealed in the Bible for thousands of years by reading the Bible in Hebrew, its original mother tongue. And you can do all of this without having any previous knowledge of the Hebrew language. Just ahead on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, a program to help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. Well, my guest today is back to talk about the importance of the Hebrew language. In fact, he says that Hebrew can unlock mysteries that aren't found any other way in Scripture. So we're going back to the Hebrew language with our resident Hebrew expert, Dr. Danny Ben-Gigi. <laughs> Danny, welcome back. How are you? Come on, have a seat. Welcome back again. I really appreciate you spending this week with us, Danny, talking about something that I believe, and I shared this earlier, is a restoration, a divine restoration, as it says in Acts, that all things spoken of through the prophets must be restored. And you shared a verse in Zephaniah that I want to open with again. Mm -hmm. um, in Zephaniah it says, at the end of the time, I'll flip a language to you, a pure language. Now, what is flipping? Most of the Roma English... So it's not... Re it says literally flip in the flip. Hebrew, right? In the English, it says turn a new language to you. But in Hebrew, it says flip. So if everybody reads from left to right, flipping a language is writing it from right to left, which is Hebrew, and he calls it the pure language at the end of the time. I think we need to do some preparations for that day. And I'm not saying that everybody needs to learn Hebrew, but they need to know a key, key, some key words that will change their understanding of the Bible, of God, of the universe, and of themselves. People. Danny, you have d really dedicated yourself to helping people, Christians and Jews, understand the Hebrew language. And very few are like you, sabras, that, uh, linguist. Most haven't studied Hebrew, but what you... Uh, have been working on with different tools is helping Christians to delve into Hebrew without having a Hebrew background, right? I, I was teaching uh, different groups and especially group of pastors, very knowledgeable people. Nobody doubts the knowledge of pastors, their leader, their spiritual leaders. But I've been noticing for 20 years a certain lack of, uh, of areas of depth and I know that they know, they read the Bible to the best of their ability, they are trained well. I have no reason to doubt the knowledge, but I, I notice that there are certain areas are missing in their understanding, and it's not their intelligence issue, it's the issue of the Hebrew that was missing there. But you know, uh, for years I thought, okay, everybody needs to learn Hebrew, but not everybody can learn Hebrew. People don't have the time for that. So what we did, we went and handpicked key words that will change completely the understanding of the Bible, both the Old and the New Testament, just knowing now one you gave us word a, You gave time. us a great example last program we did together, the Hebrew word for umbilical cord. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the idea that it's the same word in Hebrew connecting life, death, the Messiah, and the afterlife. And the, after, and the gospel itself. It says the umbilical cord of the gospel. And we mentioned the umbilical cord, umbilical cord means pain, suffering, and agony that one needs to endure to bring, for, to bring forth the following. And which is Each really a theme when you think about it. it. It's the theme of the fall of man yes. and woman bringing forth children in pain and travail. Right. I lived through that with my wife. Let's Brooke. talk about your wife, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about your wife. She won't like this, Danny. You I know, know her. But you married her, right? And of course, I don't know if you did it or not, but many people, when they marry their wife, they will pick her up, raise her, lift her up, and carry her to the house. I don't know if you did that, but many people did. And over you, the threshold. Over the threshold. I, and you I, ask, well... I don't remember. There are some discounts. Say, I may have. It used to be all the way to the house, you know, and then say, okay, to the threshold. Some discounts. But uh, you would be wondering, what's the source of that kind of custom? Who can explain where it's coming from? Well, let's start serious and get to the lifting up, which is serious, too, if you have the trouble with the muscles. But, 
<laughs> I sure couldn't do it anymore, but... Um, let's start serious, okay? You hear, you know, everybody knows the song of Aretha Franklin. Say a little prayer for me, right? That can work beautifully in English, can never work in Hebrew. You know why? No. You can't say a prayer in Hebrew. Say indicates a direction of speech. I can say something to you, you can say something to me. It will be very weird if I do this and I, Jonathan, how are you? Or Jonathan, are you okay? Very weird. So we understand that to say something, we need to be evil, even, even headed with another person. I speak to you, it's called vector. I speak this way, you speak back to me that way. It's not working with prayer. You cannot say a prayer in Hebrew. You know what you do with prayer? In Hebrew, the word is, just remember one word. We're not going to complicate anything here. One word, nasa in Hebrew. Nasa, that's it. Nasa means to lift up. The word lift up is to, to lift, to say a prayer in Hebrew is actually to lift up a prayer, indicating the direction the prayer is going to. You're not praying to another person. You're praying to God. And that's where the word is nasa means lifting up a prayer. Well, you know, that word happens to be the same exact word of marrying a woman. To marry is also nasa, because the meaning of nasa is to marry or to carry or to lift up. And you know what? Look at the American organization that does a I lot would, of- I have this picture of, <laughs> yes, dear. Yeah, <laughs> right. And look at the uh, American great organization there in Florida and Cap Canaveral. NASA, right? What do they do? What are the NASA is about? They are lifting up. Isn't they're that lifting, interesting? They are in the business I'm sure of lifting that was up. never part of the original never part thinking of, of the name, but it's the Hebrew for lifting up. And that's the power yeah. of the mysteries of Hebrew. Pe people pick up an, an abbreviation for NASA, and then they ended up to be all their job of NASA is not digging into the ground or anything like that. They are in the business of lifting up and they take the name, which is exactly the biblical name of Mary. No, well, they don't marry anyone, but they're lifting up. <laughs> they carry low, you know, they're loading things. But that's a very, it's really meaningful that the role of the husband is to lift up the woman. Yes, and is to raise, there is, carry the woman. Of course, I didn't want to get to the spiritual part of that, but it connected to God because the same way you treat the prayer, you're lifting it up, and this is the triangle that connects a person that marries a woman with God. You see, without need, need to go to any theology, the word nasa, you do the same thing with the prayer, you do the same thing That's with great, the wife. Danny. That is that is really, you, I get the, you get that picture? The whole connection, it's terrific. Share it with your wives. We've got to take a break. We're going to look at more mysteries when we come back, including what Danny shared with me about Hamas. We're going to delve deeper into the mysteries of scripture revealed in the Hebrew language. And later, an incredible performance by someone that I feel is a rising star in the Messianic world, in, in the body of Messiah. Her dad is well known, Marty Getz. Well, his daughter, Misha Getz, is incredible. So you, you want to stick around and listen to her. It's amazing. We'll be right back. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel, the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, to the Jew first and also to the nations. One key way we do this is by providing life-saving medical help to some of the poorest people in the world, people who have never before seen a doctor or dentist. In helping them, we share God's love and the good news. Today, Jewish Voice is urgently preparing a humanitarian aid mission to an impoverished community in Tuch Gayant, Ethiopia, the Beta Israel, a poor and forgotten people who have been practicing ancient Jewish customs for hundreds of years. We need your help to make this vital, life-saving outreach possible. Will you be a blessing to these precious people and the thousands of others in desperate need? Adults, children, infants, and toddlers could die for lack of basic medical care. You can help save lives, but we must do it now. Call or click right now to help us save lives. And with a gift of any amount, we'll say thank you by sending you the provider edition of Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. This hardcover guidebook with companion audio CD 
leads you step-by-step step into proclaiming, in Hebrew, God's wonderful promises for provision. You don't even need to know Hebrew. With an easy-to-learn transliteration method, you'll be confessing the Hebrew scriptures in no time. And with the book, you'll also receive this helpful Hebrew alphabet bookmark. If God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $100 or more today, to help bless some of the neediest people on earth, we'll send you all the gifts just mentioned, along with the newest book by Hebrew expert, Dr. Danny Ben-Gigi, called God's Secrets Only Hebrew Can Reveal. This insightful, eye-opening book and the included two companion audio CDs will help you to better understand the Bible, the Jewish roots of your faith, and God's plan for your life. It contains 145 Hebrew revelations, which Dr. Ben Gigi believes are missing from English language Bibles, that once you know them, could help you see the word in ways you never knew were possible. If you've been blessed with the means to share even more, for a gift of $120 or more, we'll send you all of the gifts mentioned here and upgrade Dr. Danny Ben Gigi's book to a special hardcover edition that's been personally signed by him. This keepsake will make a great addition to your personal library and will both bless and inspire you. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share a gift in support of this vital outreach and to help countless others around the globe, please call, click, or write now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of extending life-saving medical help to some of the neediest people on earth. Once again, time is of the essence for many of these people. Please call, write, or click right now. Today, discover how you can uncover mysteries concealed in the Bible for thousands of years by reading the Bible in Hebrew, its original mother tongue. And you can do all of this without having any previous knowledge of the Hebrew language. Just ahead on Jewish Voice. My guest believes that Hebrew is a restoration and, and, and a key that unlocks mysteries, and I happen to agree with him. And Danny, great example of lifting up, the connection between lifting up prayer to God, it's going upward. Right. We want it to go upward, of course. It's, it, we're, we're lifting up or carrying the, the woman, the wife, yes. and there's that connection, you know, that triangle that it's you drew. It's a spiritual connection that God has to be part of it. This is the only three things that you lift up really as intrinsic, it's part of the Hebrew. And one word makes it, explains it all, Nasa, the word Nasa. Nasa, Carry. just so happens that Nasa lifts, it's, they're in the lifting up yeah, business. Yeah, they pick up they the did it without even knowing it. Yeah. And, and Nasa, it, Nasa. We are paved here with things that you think, you know what, <laughs> what? I, I, I lecture, I talk to some people about the, certain of those um, uh, revelations. And I said, well, it might be a coincidence. And then another one, well, it might be a coincidence. Well, you read them all and you may change your view about what coincidence really means. There are so many coincidences that are not coincidences anymore. I say it this way, enough coincidences are God in, really are God <laughs> right. in sense. Uh, Hamas. That's we a coincidence. talking about Hamas. It really is amazing. Hamas is a terrorist organization. We all are familiar with Hamas and their connection with the Muslim Brotherhood and terrorism, uh, their commitment to destroy Israel, which they came up, the, the name comes from an Arabic name. Right, but it's which a, means. But here is the coincidence, Jonathan. For them, they, they picked up the name because it means exuberance, excitement, okay? They did not know what they were doing by picking up the name, apparently, but look how the world works because of Hebrew. You go back to Genesis, the word Hamas appears. It's a valid Hebrew word. It means robbery. It means evil doing, mainly evil doing. Very, very negative word. And here they come. They pick up a word. They think it's exuberance. And look what they are. And the meaning evil. of their name, evil doers, it's right there in the Bible. How did they know? Is that a coincidence? Once again, put another one on the so list. So the Hebrew reveals who they really are. Who are they yet to be? It's in Genesis right there in the beginning. And here is an the organization. They think they are exuberant. And what they do is exactly what the Bible calls evil doers. Now let's let's go through a couple more. You, by the way, you've uh, congratulations. Hot off the press, God's secrets, only Hebrew can reveal, and uh, this just came out. 
Yes. Danny. And do I feel a CD in there also? There are actually, actually there are two CDs here. Wow. Uh, what we did here, because we used, we did not go only Old Testament. People think, oh, Hebrew, it's going to be the Old Testament. I like the New Testament. I want to learn from the New Testament. We put an extra emphasis here to show the Hebrew in the New Testament, Jonathan. And that gives us a solid ground to understand of the roots. Because if you just concentrate on the old, and, they, and people will say, well, what the new has to do with Hebrew? Has a lot to do with Hebrew. In fact, you can't even fully understand the roots, the fruit of the roots of the, bo of the book without getting Danny, you described it Hebrew. earlier as the difference between black and white television and 4D, 4K, yes. color vibrant. That's what fully Hebrew does. Alive, fully alive. What we did in the other one for the service of people, we had this program um, for several years. They wrote it, Genius wrote it in Israel. Uh, it has the entire New Testament in Hebrew, in English, and in phonetics. So if somebody wants to say, let's say, the Lord's Prayer, in the same way it was said in the ancient time, they don't need to learn Hebrew, they read the Hebrew words the, in English characters. It's right nice. there. So it's a CD-ROM called the Phonetic New a Testament. super language. It's give us, we it. just have a couple minutes left. To give, give us another example. You have 145, but how about uh, Shem Havaya? This is the, the name of God. The name. You know that Jews don't pronounce that name, right? It's the J name, you know? Do, do, Jews don't say that. So that name um, may look like a coincidence. It's, it's a name. But if you look back, we talked about uh, before about lifting up. When in the ten, one of the Ten Commandments says, it doesn't say you should not say my name, the name of God, your Lord, in vain. That's another one to the, to, we can add up to the word lift up. You don't say, you cannot say in Hebrew the name of God. What's the word in Hebrew? The Israelis here. It means the, in Hebrew, the word is to lift up the name of God. Na'alotisa, the word, again, the word nasa is there. So even saying the word of God, you can't say it this way. You have to lift it up. It has a direction. It's built into the Hebrew. Show me that reverence in English, Jonathan. You'll never find it. We are out of oh. time. Oh. With Dr. Danny Ben-Gigi's latest book, God's Secrets Only Hebrew Can Reveal, you'll discover biblical revelations that can only be found when you go back to the ancient holy tongue, Hebrew. And I'm telling you, it will bless your life. When you get a hold of these truths, words will explode. This is a literally a super language. Just like there's superfoods, there is a super language, and it's the language of Hebrew. It's a creative language. It is the language of creation. So I really encourage you to get this, this resource. It'll really enhance uh, your whole relationship with the Lord. Up next, a powerful music performance by a rising star, a very talented Misha Getz, the daughter of Marty Getz, a performance that you don't want to miss. But first, an important update that you need to see. Here at Jewish Voice, we are dedicated to proclaiming the gospel, the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is the Messiah, to the Jew first and also to the nations. One key way we do this is by providing life-saving medical help to some of the poorest people in the world, people who have never before seen a doctor or dentist. In helping them, we share God's love and the good news. Today, Jewish Voice is urgently preparing a humanitarian aid mission to an impoverished community in Tach Gayant, Ethiopia, the Beta Israel, a poor and forgotten people who have been practicing ancient Jewish customs for hundreds of years. We need your help to make this vital, life-saving outreach possible. Will you be a blessing to these precious people and the thousands of others in desperate need? Adults, children, infants, and toddlers could die for lack of basic medical care. You can help save lives, but we must do it now. Call or click right now to help us save lives. And with a gift of any amount, we'll say thank you by sending you the provider edition of Confessing the Hebrew Scriptures by Rabbi Jonathan Burness. This hardcover guidebook with companion audio CD leads you step-by-step step into proclaiming in Hebrew God's wonderful promises for provision. You don't even need to know Hebrew. 
With an easy to learn transliteration method, you'll be confessing the Hebrew scriptures in no time. And with the book, you'll also receive this helpful Hebrew alphabet bookmark. If God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $100 or more today, to help bless some of the neediest people on earth, we'll send you all the gifts just mentioned, along with the newest book by Hebrew expert, Dr. Danny Ben-Gigi, called God's Secrets Only Hebrew Can Reveal. This insightful, eye-opening book and the included two companion audio CDs will help you to better understand the Bible, the Jewish roots of your faith, and God's plan for your life. It contains 145 Hebrew revelations, which Dr. Ben Gigi believes are missing from English language Bibles, that once you know them, could help you see the word in ways you never knew were possible. If you've been blessed with the means to share even more, for a gift of $120 or more, we'll send you all of the gifts mentioned here and upgrade Dr. Danny Ben Gigi's book to a special hardcover edition that's been personally signed by him. This keepsake will make a great addition to your personal library and will both bless and inspire you. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share a gift in support of this vital outreach and to help countless others around the globe, please call, click, or write now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of extending life-saving medical help to some of the neediest people on earth. Once again, time is of the essence for many of these people. Please call, write, or click right now. Recently, a new and rising star in the world of Messianic and Christian worship dropped by to perform for us. Misha Getz was so good that we wanted to share that performance again. Every side, but not crushed, Lord, for you abide here. We are shaken in this life. But not moved, no persecuted, but not abandoned, aware, surrounded, but not consumed. The rain, it comes down, and the waters rise, but we will stand against the tide. So it's strange.
What a talent and so anointed. Be sure to get a copy of Misha's latest CD, Weight of Glory. And to learn more about uh, her, you can go to our website, jewishvoice.tv. Stay with us. We have lots more ahead. Imagine celebrating the miraculous power of the Passover against the breathtaking backdrop of the sparkling Eastern Caribbean Sea on board a luxurious Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Rejoice at the Messianic Passover Seder led by Rabbi Jonathan Burness, remembering God's mighty hand delivered the Jewish people from bondage. Worship because the miracle held a mystery revealed and completed in Yeshua, Jesus, the Passover lamb, and ultimate sacrifice for our sins. This is the Jewish Voice seven-day Passover cruise on the turquoise waters of the Eastern Caribbean and the enchanting white sand islands of St. Martin, St. Thomas, and Nassau, Bahamas. You don't want to miss the beauty, worship, and celebration as we share the mystery and the miracle of the Passover on the seas. Join Jonathan Burness and Jewish Voice April 16th through 23rd, 2016. Cabin Space is limited. Book now for the best rooms and rates. Call or click today. Since 1967, Jewish Voice has been dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is Messiah and Savior to the Jew first, and also to the nations. Now, one way that we do this is by helping some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. We've been able to demonstrate God's love by providing these people with medical care, dental care, eye care, all free of charge, but most importantly, the gospel. And it's because of your faithful support that we're able to make a difference in their lives. But we need your help. Will you be part of saving lives, of transforming lives, and blessing desperate Jewish people by sharing a generous gift today? If your answer is yes, we have some very special ways of saying thank you today. I've selected some helpful and encouraging resources that I'd like to send you. Just call Clicker right now to share and request them all. And remember, your generous gift will be used to help some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. Hey, by the way, we're on Facebook. You can check us out by going to facebook.com slash Jewish Voice and just click like and we'll keep you updated on so much going on here at Jewish Voice. Well, as I leave you today, I want to remind you, and I do this in every program, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Israel needs our prayers now more than ever. And it says, they shall prosper that love thee. Until next time, this is Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Jewish Voice is made possible by the support of friends and partners like you. 